Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the prices for the World Eater product that we saw in yesterday's Warhammer pre-order preview. If you saw yesterday's pre-order preview video, then you'll know there's tons of new models for the World Eaters and the Codex as well. And each Sunday, I go through the Warhammer pre-order preview products so you can see exactly what's coming. So I think I might just start doing the prices each week too. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Something you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please consider checking out the links I put down below as well. There are affiliate links to Wayland, Element, Firestorm games, and then every sale made through those links, I get a small commission. So that really helps me keep going with these daily videos. If you do check those links out, thanks so much. Right, let's get on with the prices then. So let's get stuck in with the Arcs of Omen Angron book. And this will be £35, $60 in US. That's a big increase. So yeah, that doesn't convert well at all. And then €45. Euros. Now, I just saw on Ospex Tactics channel that it's confirmed there's going to be five books for the Arcs of Omen. So this is the second one, three more to come. Uh, it's a bit much for me. I won't be getting any of these. But if you like them, at least you know how many's coming now so you can have a good idea of how much it's going to cost you should you wish to pick up all five of them. Angron, the Demon Prince of Corn, is going to be ninety-five pounds, hundred and sixty US dollars, hundred and twenty euros. So in line with Magnus and some of the other larger models. Then there's this artwork that will come in a bundle. So if you pick up a few of the models, the Codex, this is going to be bundled in with this artwork. We'll get the price for that on Saturday when it goes live on the Games Workshop website. The World Eaters Codex, that's thirty-two pound fifty for the regular one. 55 US dollars, 42.5 euros. And if you want the more fancy limited edition one, they're normally 55 pounds, so quite a bit more. So there we go, that's the price for both of the two World Eater Codexes. Then we've got this guy, the Lord Invocatus, that you can build in two different ways. He's gonna be a regular Corn Lord on Juggernaut, or you can build him as Lord Invocatus on the Mount Kalgurath. And this is gonna be 37 pound 50, 60 US dollars or 50 euros. Then we've got the exalted eight bound, 35 pounds, 60 US dollars, 45 euros. There are six in the picture, but you're only gonna get three and you can build them in these different ways. Then there's the Corn Berserkers, a box of 10 models. They're gonna be 37 pound 50 in line with many of the other factions that we see. That'll convert to 60 US dollars or 50 euros. Then we've got the Jackals, and these are very similar to the other cultists in price. 30 pounds, 50 US dollars, or 40 euros. The Dreaded Dice, 22 pounds, 35 dollars, 29 euros. And, you know, they are improving, but that price for 15 dice is just too much for me. For Angron, the Red Angel Special Edition book, this one we don't have a price for. Again, this will be Saturday, so look out for that when it goes live on the Games Workshop website, usually at 10 o'clock in the morning. You'll also have the option to get this as a hardback version, though. So this will be £18, $27 or €22. Euros. Next is the Bale Fleet Battle Force. So I've covered this quite a bit on the channel already. I've gone into a deep dive on points and everything. So price-wise for this one, we're looking at £130, $210, 170 euros. And I think with this one, we can assume the price is gonna be the same for the other countries as it was for the Christmas Battle Force box sets. So Australian dollars, 350, Canadian dollars, 260, and then yen, 30.5 thousand. Next up is the Boarding Patrol for Warhammer 40,000, the Space Marine Boarding Patrol. This is 65 pounds, US 110, another big increase there for the US, or 85 dollars. For me, I'm not sure if this is great. I mean, you are making a saving. You know, if you went for the Heavy Intercessors and the Assault Intercessors, you're pretty much getting them a little bit cheaper and getting that captain in Gravis armor for free. So if you were looking to get these and you don't have them already, then, you know, it's gonna be a, a good price and probably a great way to do it. So there we go. Yeah, if you're new to collecting Space Marines, I think this is a good start. And for boarding patrol, it's well put together, I think. There's some more books on the Black Library. We're looking at $12.99, $19.15.95 euros for Unholy Tales of Horror and Woe from the Imperium. This is written by various authors 
And then the second book, we've got Renegades of the Long War. Same price is $12.99, $19.1595 euros. And then Black Hearts, the Omnibus by Nathan Long. Same price, $12.99, $19.1595 euros. Then we've got that Blood Bowl miniature. Looks like that's going to be available possibly from Forge World. And then we've got the Warhammer Horus Heresy upgrades, which are made to order products. And those prices will be out later this week, probably Saturday, actually. So we'll have to wait and see for those. But we can certainly assume they're going to be similar prices to what we've already seen for Horus Heresy upgrades. There we go. There's all the prices then. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Any surprises there? Or is this pretty much what you expected? Can't wait to hear what you think. So I've got a pretty fun day planned. What are you up to? Let me know that too. I'm working on a Warhammer 40k mission that I've written. And so I'll be playing that out and testing it on the tabletop. And then that'll be going on my Patreon. So if you're a member of the Patreon, you'll be seeing this very soon. So you can give it a go and play it out in your own time. I'm kind of flirting with the idea of tying in a kill team game with then 40k games. So you play your kill team mission and depending on how that goes successfully or not, you then go on to a different 40k mission, a bit like the choose your own adventure book. So yeah, if you want to find out more about that, come and join my Patreon. I'd love to see you there. Later on, I'll also be posting a video about magnetizing the Rogel Dawn, one of my least favorite things to do, I think, in modeling. Um, super glue, I'm not a fan of, and getting these magnets right can be a bit of a pain, but it went well, and a um, couple of mishaps, which I'll also share, because it doesn't always go smoothly, does it? And so look out for that coming later on. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it gave you a good idea about what to expect on Saturday when you can start pre-ordering these world eaters. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I can't wait to see you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Game. A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these daily videos. I really appreciate your support and can't thank you enough. Couldn't do this without you. So thanks so much and look out for that 40k mission coming later on this week.